Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Gemini placement propensity that is important to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in the video will all be on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, we will also pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for the, Mar the month of March, but time is elusive. Whenever you receive the message, that is when you are meant to hear it. Came out nice and nice and quick, nice and quick. Bottom of the deck this week, we're looking at the King of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy. Could be important to you, could be of influence. Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, but someone that is very stable financially, uh, you know, in the 3D world. Good job, steady home environment. Usually someone that is uh, a spouse, not necessarily, but someone that is absolutely able to be in that role. Right, someone that can hold things down, someone that is very responsible too, very business-minded individual as well. But they have, um, you know, they've accomplished some things, worked very hard on their 3D stability. I think I just saw the Ace of Wands underneath there, yeah. Past position, we're coming in with the Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo energy, and the Page of Cups, Pisces energy. So there is something that someone is not seeing. I can see that off the bat. As we can see, the Page of Cups is an energy of um, emotional expression. Could be an I'm sorry. Um, but something kind of happening out of the blue. Some sort of communication, some sort of olive branch being reached out. Some sort of emotional gesture. Maybe unexpected. Definitely could be an apology for some of you. That's why it's maybe behind your back if this is you coming in as the Hermit. Or this could be someone that you were dealing with. But there's definitely someone that is not seeing some sort of uh, communication gesture that is about to happen or has happened in the past. Time is elusive. So this could be happening now, could have already happened, may happen tomorrow. Someone that is extremely introverted right now with that Herman energy. Very, in, in, you know, not really, not really extending themselves at all. Very much in a like a spiritual ghost spurt sort of energy, right? Yes, there's definitely something that someone is not seeing, some sort of communication that is either coming in or has come in and they weren't expecting. Could definitely be an apology if that is something that resonates with you, but someone is definitely introverted right now. Very quiet energy, very uh, reflective energy with the hermit or someone was recently in that energy. In your present position, it looks like this hermit mode is getting ready to end. Queen of Swords definitely could be you or you could be dealing with another air sign. Another Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And the Three of Wands. Definitely communication here. Okay, there's definitely going to be some sort of communication either from you or from whoever was in this hermit mode. Someone's getting ready to come out of isolation. They've been thinking clearly, long and hard. And there definitely is some sort of olive branch that is getting... That is about to be, you know, extended. Could be an apology if this, if, if that is something that is warranted. But definitely communication. You could have been expecting this communication. Three of Wands could be someone that's at a distance from you. But definitely could be something you have been manifesting. This communication, this apology. Right? But there definitely was some expectation. Someone knew that this was going to happen. Definitely could be someone you have wanted to be, wanted to communicate with. Right, but they were in definitely some sort of healing reflective mode. In your future energy, Ace of Wands, I mean Swords, and the World Card, Major Arcana. So definitely victory, clarity here. Someone needs to speak the truth. Someone is ready to speak their truth. Definitely it is whoever that was in this hermit mode. Okay, victory. This is also now energy. Ace of Swords is one day, one week tops. You have the three in your timing position. So three days within the next three weeks maximum. Definitely some sort of communication here that you have been expecting. Maybe you have been manifesting this. But the truth enabling you to move forward, right? In whatever way possible, whether it's with this person or without this person. 
This communication is definitely going to enable some sort of movement forward, some sort of ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Underneath the King of Pentacles is the Ace of Wands as well. Some sort of passionate new beginning. So definitely some of you, this communication is going to enable you to move forward in the situation. Could be work, could be a relationship. I don't see any cups besides the Pacer Cups. You could be waiting for some sort of phone call from a relative, from a work, from, you know, anything. Definitely looks like you're going to be receiving this, this communication. Right? Whoever this is, though, that is communicating with you has been deliberating long and hard about this. Definitely someone's ready to take action. Someone could definitely be ready to stabilize something. King of Pentacles is also work energy. But it looks like whoever has been in this hermit mode, they could have recently went through an ending. I did see the Ten of Swords underneath there. Okay, let's see what the oracles have for you this week, Gemini. Movement forward. Two aces, ace of swords, ace of wands. Page energy is also new energy. This could have taken a while, but you I think you knew if this is something or someone at a distance. That could have been why it took so long. But someone's definitely been healing or or, or, or um recovering from something. Ten of Swords situation. Magic works through you, number 52, which is a seven. Yeah, magic works through you. Heavy manifestation energy as well. Also, seven is very lucky energy, jackpot energy. You have definitely been manifesting this, whatever communication this is. Whoever this is from, you see clearly now more clarity energy, more um, hermit energy as well. Owls are very wise. Right, number 43, that's another seven. So you have 7-7 seven, seven here. Divine timing, luck, fate, being on your side. Definitely something you have been manifesting here, getting ready to materialize. You see clearly now. So this is low-key double confirmation of this Ace of Swords and also a double confirmation of this Hermit card. You can almost say the Owl could be a very good totem for, animal totem for that Hermit energy. But... Something you have been manifesting, getting ready to materialize here for you, Gemini. What else do we have? Out of the blue. It could happen out of the blue. Or this person could have just went silent out of the blue. Just kind of disappeared for a little bit. That's because they have been recovering from some sort of ending in their life. This could be you. But you have been manifesting some sort of communication clarity. See? Take time to breathe out. This is what someone has been doing. Take time to breathe out. Decimating moon. What else do we have for Gemini? Someone needed time to breathe out. They were recovering from something. Going through some spiritual energetic upgrades. Becoming wiser. So... That's what that silence is about. This is not some toxic thing. This is someone you might have recently met or met some months ago, and they kind of just disappeared. Everything was good, and they kind of probably just disappeared. They've been dealing with some things because Herman is very much isolation mode, and I did see the Ten of Swords, some sort of betrayal, some sort of ending, but there will be communication about this. They could be expressing or telling you why it is they disappeared. World card is also long distance energy, so this person could definitely be not in your proximity. Minnetakin, longing for home, belonging the original light workers. This could be a friend. But definitely, you could definitely feel like home to this person, belonging, or someone is coming to the realization. Now that this energy of the Hermit and the Ten of Swords has, has been cleared, they're seeing something very clearly now with this Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Three of Wands is also a waiting energy. All right? Someone could have been waiting for the right time to say something, to express something. 
All right, Gemini, that is your reading for the week. I really do hope that resonates with all of you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.